So this is just like a phone, so if you go over and actually connect it to Wi-Fi, if you go into settings, and it's tap up network, oh, no, hit the wrong thing. And you can actually, right now Wi-Fi is on, but uh, I had to connect to my phone actually, because the one inside my house I'm having issues with. And if you do that, then it'll go ahead and it'll actually do the uh, voice commands for driving. And if you just hold this button for a split second, it makes it full screen. So, so other features of this is you can uh, stream videos from your phone to the mirror. You can play music through it, uh, Spotify. If you hit that, Spotify pops up. I do not have a Spotify account, so I, I don't really care. I use YouTube music for my phone anyways. Um, let's see. So navigation, DVR, you can go through settings for both cameras. Uh, FM, like I said before, that's just to set what frequency that the audio from this mirror will play over your car speaker. Bluetooth is to connect and pair your phone. Uh, let's see. So Spotify, this one here is... Oh, so this one here is actually not to stream videos to it. It's actually to just uh, review the ready recorded footage. But if you go to apps list, you could download and install a bunch of things. Okay, interesting. So now if I connect it to my phone via Wi-Fi, if I go over to app list in YouTube and hold this for a split second... Or I guess you just tap it once. Oops. All set. Let's go. Um, so now it's trying to do voice navigation. I don't. I don't want you to do that. Okay. So then I guess you have to update it. So once I go into the apps list, I can actually go over here to YouTube. And as you can see, I can actually watch my own YouTube videos through this monitor here and if I start the ignition go to the radio Frank here today to install wind deflectors we're gonna be Look doing at that. that's kind of cool now I hate these videos I hate my own voice so I'm turning it off